Okay, just as I've said in the past that if there is such a thing as toxic masculinity, there is also toxic femininity. And both of them perpetuate each other. You can't get rid of toxic masculinity unless you also get rid of toxic femininity. If you get if you somehow manage to get rid of one of them, it'll just come back again, possibly stronger than it was before. The ways we evolve is in that regard is similar to how just about anything else evolves. So and the same goes here for you can't sit there and talk about how important freedom of speech is while you promote things that have nothing to do with the flow of information. Nothing. Nothing to do with that. What does bullying and in pure insults and nastiness, what the hell does that have to do with the flow of information? It certainly doesn't make the person they're speaking to understand any better. And if things are to this point where wh whether you get support from the group matters more than anything you may or may not do to an individual, something's wrong. Now I know since I've done this this sort of this YouTube thing, I've felt the tendency myself to want to hey, let's impress the audience instead of like doing the right thing. And when I say the right thing, it's it's like okay, let's talk about this subject still, but find a way to do it where I'm not just being insultive to everything. Because if, I, if I'm, I'm using that kind of methodology to be just fully insultive all the time, then the people that I'm actually trying to reach are never going to, to, to hear it. Oh, yay, I can get an audience and, and speak to the choir. I don't want that. I've never wanted that. And I'm thankful that YouTube can give me, I mean, just to be blunt, that YouTube can give me what I want in that area. The area of being able to... You, to, to not have a, a an echo chamber, to have people that challenge my opinions, to have people that challenge my viewpoints. But so many of the people out there that talk about, oh, it's so important to challenge other people's viewpoints, don't seem to actually want anyone to challenge their viewpoints. And it's all a big sham. It's all a big fucking sham. So many people here just, just want an audience. I mean, if they can say a few things along the way, great. I mean, obviously the, the channels that are for pure entertainment are going to be that too, but I'm just, there's a lot of posers here. And there's a lot of posers in text here. I stand for this, but I really stand for this. I'm in it because of this, but you really are in it for that. It's like another video that I made quite a while back where, you know, some people talk about how, oh, they rubberneck on the freeway because uh, uh, they they have a, well, what if someone came, come, came running out into the street? No, that's not it. You're looking at the carnage. I'm not that type of person. Yes, you are. Just about everyone is. And as soon as you accept that, that's what allows you to not have to slow down whenever you see it. But so many people do, and you ask them, Oh, I'm really looking at it for because of... No, you're not. Now, sometimes the main thing you care... Some, sometimes when people realize this, the main thing they care about is, uh, you know, hey, let's, let's go forward, but hey, we're right next to the carnage. Let's look at it anyway. It's not an obsession, but it's already going slow enough so you can actually see it. There are a lot of people here on YouTube who claim that their, their main thing is about... Uh, Oh, learning and, and information and no, you want a fucking audience, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting an audience like that. I like having an audience, obviously. What kind of audience do you want? Do you want, want, want people who will actually engage with you? Or do you just want to rant and not have anything challenged at all that you're saying? And there are so many people out there who claim they want their stuff challenged but it's obviously not what they really want. It's a catchphrase that you can say because, well, look, I'm anti-establishment, and the establishment is is left-wing feminist SJW dot da dot da dot, even though you don't really see it that much in the news. You, you do see it in, in some of the news. You obviously see it in movies. 
But I'm, I'm against these things. Therefore, I'm all about learning. So people are able to delude themselves into thinking they're, they're really, this is really about this. Oh, bullying is really about passing information. It's the flow of information. No, it's, it's, it's crap. So going back to the beginning of when I was talking about you know, toxic femininity and toxic masculinity, you can't possibly think that you're doing some good when you'll sit there and go on and on about, about free speech, even though you're on, you're on a private company's website, and then not speak against some of the shit that you're seeing. Oh, no, no, that's, that's free speech. I mean, yes, it's free speech, but we should be speaking against things that are messed up. You do in all these other areas, but why not for that? Well, if I speak against it, 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 it means that it, it will, uh, you know, that'll somehow hasten these, this element where we're probably going to uh, have legal things brought against uh, people for bullying on the internet. But to me, the way that we can ensure that that's going to take a long time to occur if it does, it's likely that it will, but if it does happen, then you know, we, we need to speak against that shit. Because it's, it's the same thing as pretending racism doesn't exist. That sexism against women doesn't exist. It obviously exists for men as well, okay? That's, that's, it's absolutely there, it's absolutely true, but there is sexism against women. People just don't want to even look at that possibility. There is racism against blacks within uh, police forces. Now, what the reasons for those things is, you know, that can be discussed. Let's start with reality first. Then we can maybe discuss something to maybe find an answer. And so in order to discuss better ways of dealing with bullying and harassment, we have to discuss the fact that those things exist and what those things do to some people. And you can say, well, the people that are affected by that are mentally weak, they're deficient, they're great. Uh, you know, start throw, throw out some more insults. You know, if they are these things that you're saying, do you think that continuing on in, in your declaration of how terrible they are because... They might be weak-minded. They might have a thin skin. I mean, this isn't to say you, you coddle people, but there's just, what is the point in saying something just, that, just for the purpose of hurting them? If that's not the only purpose. See, this is, this is the problem that comes with us not being honest about our emotions. That's why that, that video uh, uh, with Jonathan was, it, it, it hit me pretty hard. It was a very surprising video coming from him, right? This is some of the cost of us hiding our emotions, hiding what we do, hiding what our feelings actually are. We lie to ourselves, we lie to other people. It'd just be good if we can actually at least be aware of this. For us to be more self-aware of us as individuals and more self-aware as to what our culture actually is. None of that takes, like, buying into some ideology. This is something you do on an individual level. And any viewpoint of that is going to be subjective. It's not some science. Oh, it's a soft science. No, it's bullshit. If we want to speak against what some of these SJWs are pushing forth, pulling out the insults only hurts us. That's the only thing it achieves. And if you keep backing up those methods, you keep supporting those methods, you're not going to have those methods to use anymore. So if you're going to speak up against the type of, of, of censorship that is starting to occur more and more, 
then you all then you should be also speaking against the shit that people are, are keep testing the waters like children test test their boundaries. Okay, you'll have to occasionally say, hey, that was kind of fucked up. You gotta be willing to acknowledge that. Just like the feminists need to acknowledge the crazies on their end. And the, 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 the uh, uh, SJWs need to acknowledge the crazies within most of the movement. Of course, they don't even call themselves SJWs. That's, that's more of a, of a phrase that other people have put onto them. Many don't uh, self-identify that way. They'll say they're for social justice. But so many of them have bought into a particular ideology instead of looking at things on a more individual level and they start all using the same language and the same phrasings and the same you know and you see it oh look a religious person if we want to speak against them we can't do the things that will make us not listened to and banned and all of that stuff we have to be smarter I mean, it's what a lot of this is about we've got to be smarter and I don't really have, I don't have faith that we're going to be smarter. That's why I think it's inevitable that there are eventually going to be laws that put people in jail or even prison, or at the very least, very hefty fines for, for the, their conduct on the internet. And that's a shame. It's a shame. It should never happen. But if we're only willing to, 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 to say, hey, that's messed up, when it's when it's something we don't agree with i mean could i could i could i look at an insult a certain way and well it's an insult so i should find it funny because you look at these elements <laughs> you know i mean i could and there have been times i have there are some people's channels that i'm subscribed to that are that way i don't watch them much anymore but but when you look at a discussion I mean, the best thing would be if someone says, that really frustrates me, that makes me angry. But the way it is right now, if someone says that, that makes me angry. And I, I need a moment to think about this, to look at this logically. It will be, the other person will declare victory. That's kind of how it goes. So we can't even, we can't be honest really about anything. But, uh, I mean, that's the way our society is. And it's sad. As I've said before, there are pockets of goodness everywhere. You'll find little bitty pockets. Sometimes they're really small, and sometimes they're out of reach. Those pockets of goodness are floating in a sea of stupidity, hatred, anger, ignorance. But the pockets of goodness are still there. So, But if we, if we want to conquer this problem, we must look at all of the sides to it and acknowledge all of the sides to it. We must or we are going to lose our ability to say things the way that we want. And we've been given a lot of freedoms for a long time in that area, but it's being abused and people aren't speaking up about it. And that's a shame. It's a real shame.